The NYPD investigated it. They thought it was enough. And they wrote up a report to say this person should be arrested. And Grace Jabari even turned herself in. So the NYPD thought it was a crime, but Alvin Bragg didn't. And I think that's where it gets a little contentious for the defense. So many of you have noticed the kind of controversy and contradiction of Jonathan Majors being fired by Marvel Studios, which is Disney, because of course Disney owns Marvel Studios. But then immediately after Disney fires him, he does his first interview since he was arrested and consequently found guilty of harassing his ex-girlfriend. And who gets the exclusive interview? Disney. It's a Good Morning America interview, which is owned by ABC News, which is owned again by Disney. And now there's a new piece on Jonathan Majors that came out last night. It's an impact piece done by ABC News, again owned by Disney, and is streaming right now on Hulu, owned by Disney. A lot of people have been pointing this out, and I believe that at this point, and this is strictly my own opinion, not based off of anything besides what everybody else has seen, but I believe what is happening here is a couple of things, but one, I believe Disney really is trying to kind of get a feel for how the public feels about this situation. And I've heard from a lot of you, I've covered this for a pretty long time now since he was arrested, but in the comments down below, specifically please tell me if you think Jonathan Majors, despite being found guilty of two unintentional harassment charges, meaning that he did indeed harass and hurt Grace Jabari, but the jury deemed that he didn't mean to. It was accidental. So given what the jury has currently found, we're going to ignore the fact that he's going to appeal. Based off of how everything is right now, please let me know in the comments if you think Jonathan Major should be rehired by Disney slash Marvel as Kang the Conqueror in the MCU based off being found guilty of those two harassment charges. Now, ABC has confirmed that Jonathan Major said he is going to be appealing the verdict. And in this new piece done by ABC, it's actually a piece that kind of really does favor Jonathan Majors. They are trying to tell his side of the story. They're trying to tell the story of what a lot of people didn't see behind the scenes that happened that the court kind of chose to ignore or the police chose to ignore. And in this new piece that they've done, they bring in Brian Buckmeyer, who is an ABC News legal contributor, and he brings up some good points again in favor of Jonathan Majors. And really this new piece by ABC News really does make it seem like Jonathan Majors is the victim in this situation. Even though he was found guilty, it seems like he was wrongfully found guilty. That's sort of the vibe that you get from this piece, and we'll play clips, of course, and break it down. We'll start with this first one that has ABC News and Jonathan Majors saying, Grace Jabari said this, but... This is what actually happened. Jonathan Majors was actually injured. He went to the police and the police thought that it was enough to erase Grace Jabari, but the DA did not and he dismissed it. In the criminal complaint, she alleged Majors struck her in the face with an open hand, causing substantial pain and a laceration behind her ear. That Majors grabbed her hand, causing swelling, bruising, and substantial pain to her finger. And that he put his hand on her neck, causing bruising. But Majors claims Jabari attacked him in a jealous rage, ripping his coat, scratching his face and his arm. Photos he took and says are of his injuries were shared with impact, yet were deemed inadmissible in court. And what's interesting about this is that Majors did go to the police about what happened. He actually went to the police about Grace Jabari assaulting him. And the NYPD actually issued a warrant for the arrest of Grace Jabari and she turned herself in. However, the DA dismissed this. And people found this very interesting at the time and ABC News brought on Brian Buckmeyer to talk about this situation. The interesting part about this cross complaint is that the NYPD investigated it they thought it was enough. And they wrote up a report to say this person should be arrested. And Grace Jabari even turned herself in. So the NYPD thought it was a crime, but Alvin Bragg didn't. And I think that's where it gets a little contentious for the defense. Now, this is one of the reasons that Jonathan Majors is going to appeal. And they feel like there just wasn't enough evidence to support the case that Jonathan Majors harmed and caused all of these injuries to Grace Jabari. Jonathan Majors remains adamant that he never touched her and he only tried to get his phone back. And then she started to harass him and he tried to get away. She followed. He tried to put her back in the car and then ran away after. And Brian Buckmeyer actually mentioned a law before when Jonathan Majors was found guilty 
actually he said this right after, that could be a pretty big changer for Jonathan Majors if he appeals. And he said he was actually shocked that it wasn't brought up before. Here's what Brian Buckmeyer had to say about it. This is the difficult part for me, and this is where I always get in trouble at home when I try to break this down to my wife. Um, what I didn't like about this defense is they didn't focus on what is called Penal Law 3525. It's the ability to use force to stop a larceny or theft or criminal mischief, the damage of your property. And I always go back to this analogy that I've said multiple times in ABC. If, and I'll use Kira, use an example. If Kira's walking down the street and someone takes her purse, the law says, you're allowed to use force to take your property back. The law doesn't say, well, your girlfriend's allowed to take your cell phone because she's allowed to check for infidelity. The law doesn't say, well, my wife's allowed, uh, to, or I'm allowed to take my wife's property because I need to check it for this or that. No, to me, this broke down to Grace Jabari stealing property and Jonathan Majors using force, now the question is, is it appropriate force? To take back his property. But that seemed to be an argument that was missed completely in this trial. I'm not sure quite why. So this will most likely be brought up in court when Jonathan Majors appeals. So now kind of the big question going around is, will Disney take back Jonathan Majors if he is found not guilty after he appeals or even if the verdict stays the same and he is still found guilty? We'll talk about this in just a bit, but first, big thank you to Fume for sponsoring this video. Fume is a game changer for a lot of people in turning bad habits into good habits. A lot of people struggle with these bad habits, but Fume looks at these in a different way. Not everything in the habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? And that's exactly what Fume does. They're innovative and they're award-winning and they're a flavored air device. That's all it is. It's flavored air. So it has none of the bad things and the bad habit in it. Instead of vapor, it uses flavored air. Instead of of electronics, fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. I had actually heard really great things about Fume from my friends who were struggling with some bad habits. They actually raved about it and how it helped them, which is why I agreed to partner with them. And they sent me some samples and they honestly are super refreshing and taste very flavorful and good. And it comes in beautiful real wood. And it's honestly really fun to just sit there and kind of fidget with if you're someone who likes to fidget like I do. And I know stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but with Fume, it's easy and they have served over 150,000 customers and have thousands of success stories. And that could be you if you pick up a journey pack today. Head over to tryfume.com and use code COSMIC to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code COSMIC to save an additional 10% off your order today. So as I mentioned, I do kind of feel like this is Disney trying to get a feel for how everybody is feeling about Jonathan Majors. Because if you're Disney, if you're Marvel Studios, you don't want to have to recast Jonathan Majors. He's already appeared several times in the MCU. They've made it clear that he is the big bad of the entire saga. And they showed us the Council of Kings. They showed us thousands of kinks all being played by Jonathan Majors. There's his face on all of those different variants. If you're Marvel, you don't want to have to recast him, especially if you have known him for a very long time and you think he is a good person. And let's remember, Marvel Studios and Disney fired James Gunn before and then after a little bit brought him back. James Gunn issued an apology and everything was fine. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was the most successful Marvel Studios film in a very long time. So clearly they have seen that people surrounded in controversy doesn't necessarily mean the failure of a movie or franchise that they're involved in. And this new piece on Jonathan Majors makes sure to put some very specific things inside of it, like the fact that Jonathan Majors still believes that it was racism behind Grace Jabari not getting arrested and the evidence of him being hurt not being allowed to be used in court, even though the DA was a black man himself, as they said. There are those who would say, well, you know, the DA, Alvin Bragg, is a black man. How can you say that the, this is race involved? Oh, Alvin Bragg is a black man. <laughs> I'm a black man. Uh, he's a politician, you know. We are not limited to our race, the system, you know, the country. Um, there are elements of it that are just bad. 
The district attorney's office declined to comment on Majors' interview, saying, we do our speaking in court where a Manhattan jury convicted Mr. Majors. And then they make sure to state that the charges that he was facing were downgraded and he was only charged with two of the four that were being held against him. And they made sure to explain that the charges that were being held against him now are him hurting her by accident. Listen here. Not guilty of the assault in the third degree intentionally suggests that the jury says he didn't mean to hurt her. But they did say that he was guilty of reckless assault, meaning that he basically conducted himself in a way where he should have known better and unintentionally injured someone else. So they're really focusing on the fact that, look, Jonathan Majors was found guilty of harassment and causing these injuries on Grace Jabari, but it was not intentional. He did not seek out to hurt her. He was trying to get his phone back and they happened. He was trying to get away from her and these injuries happened by accident. He did not mean to do this. So the big question now is, if this really was an accident, if he did not truly harass and abuse her, is that worth his entire career being destroyed? Is an accident something that didn't mean to happen, something that he did not plan on happening that just happened because of recklessness, which is what the jury said, is that worth him being completely canceled in Hollywood and never working in Hollywood again, being fired as King the Conqueror and never being hired again? Or was he a human that made a mistake and should be given a second chance, which is what they said in the first interview release. They asked him if he deserves a second chance and he said, yes, I think everybody does. And he hopes that people would agree. So I think this is a good new piece done by ABC News because it definitely tells more of the story of Jonathan Major's side. And this definitely does position Disney in a better spot for if they did want to rehire him, especially if he is found not guilty when he appeals. I think at that point, it would be a lot easier now that they've done all of this and shared his side of the story, it would be a lot easier now if he's found not guilty to rehire him because they simply say, well, we're not going to fire him if he's not guilty of something. That's one of the big questions. But the other big question is, could they possibly rehire him if they see that the public is okay with that and they want that to happen and it was still just kind of an accident? So could they rehire him as King the Conqueror if he perhaps issues an apology? These are the big questions that we are waiting for. Also, in the beginning of February, he will find out his sentence. It's believed that he won't do any jail time at all, possibly just community service. But of course, we won't find out until we find out. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts on this new story of Jonathan Majors by ABC News in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on MCU news. Also, if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner gets to pick one item and we pick one winner at the end of each month. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.